you, we need to get out of the mindset that we need to know 100% of the theory in order to do the yeah. test or the paper or whatever you want to do. It's just that, like, yeah, it's difficult to implement because you, you're so scared and then you see something, like you said, on default tax, for example. And then, like, what do you do? Like, how do you deal with default tax? And it's, it uh, is, yeah. I mean, every one of my students says the same thing, and I used to say exactly the same. It's like, I don't need to know everything, you know. I don't, I, my intention is not to know everything. Like, I'm okay yeah. with not knowing everything. I just need to know enough. The challenge we have is that, because of our personalities and because of the fears that we have and because of the way that we understand learning works, the problem is what is enough. When we're studying, we can't, we can't pinpoint enough. So it's a subjective thing where my students are like, everyone, I don't need to know everything and I'm fine with that. I just need to know enough. Great. But how do you assess enough? Yeah, because you exactly. never feel like you know enough because there's always stuff that you touch, you look at and you go, ah, crap, I don't know that. Ah, crap, I don't know that. Ah, crap, I don't know that. And every time that happens, you're like, okay, so, you know, now it's 49%. Now it's 48%. Now it's 47%. Now it's 48%. Yeah. And you know, by the end of the week, you're like, crap, I'm going to be lucky if I get 5%, you know, because yeah. I really know nothing. So, yeah, I, I, I hear you. Um, it's not that we want to know everything, but the problem is that what is enough? And mm. unfortunately, because of our personalities, um, we are not reliable assessors and evaluators of enough. We cannot rely on our assessment of enough. Um, okay. We can't. Because any gaps mm. that we have, we worry about. Yes. Yeah, okay. We worry. And we're also very binary. So, you know, as, as perfectionists, as, as, as fixed mindsets, we have a very binary approach to, to learning and to, to, to stuff, which is um, I either know it or I don't. And it comes from our history of the yes. way we study and the way we learn. But it's like, it's like if I know it, I know it. And if I don't know it, I don't know it. So I kind of I hear this coming out and you can, you can, you know, you can hear it yourself when you're doing questions is, if you do a question on your own and you get like 30%, what's the words that come out of your mouth? I know nothing. Yeah. Like I know nothing. That's what we immediately yes. default back to is mm -hmm. until we hit that like 50, 60% when we're doing questions, the words that come out of our mouth is, oh, crap, I know nothing. I still know nothing. I know nothing. Um, we can't differentiate nothing from I know a third of my stuff. Yes, yes, we can't, yes, like, yes. We can't differentiate that because if we were able to do that, we'd be able to go, okay, at this point in time, I know a third of my stuff. I know 30% of my stuff. Woohoo, that's a great start. Now, you know, if, if, I, if I study this week or if I do this or if I ask for help there or if I get that or if I like figure this out, then I'll know 35%. You know, and then if I figure yes. that out, then I'll know 40%. And if I figure that out, then I'll know. And we, we don't, like, we, 
we can say it and we can see it and we know the motivational posters and we know the logic of it, but where it counts, we don't mm. see that. That is not how we understand learning to work. Like we just don't comprehend that there's a path. It's a switch for us because that's always how it used to be. When I, you know, when yeah. I learned a topic, um, I went from not knowing to knowing in one session. Yeah, you know, yeah, basically, that's was, how it used to be. Yeah, I like I could understand it, I could get it, and then you get if you gave me a question, I could get the question right, and I was like, tick, no, move on. So I know what it yeah. feels like to know my stuff. I know what mm -hmm. it feels like to get questions right. I know what it, I know what I feel I should be doing and should be feeling when I go into questions. And that is long gone. And I want to get back there. You know, that is competency for us. You know, like my students are constantly going back to when I get back to those feelings, then I'll know I'm on the right track. Yeah. So we're, okay. we're trying okay, to move back to what it used to feel like being comfortable with our work, knowing our stuff, yes. feeling competent. Yes. And that feeling of, okay, I'm ready for the exam. You know, exactly. No, exactly. I know my stuff. We, that's how we, understand competency okay that's what okay. we believe competency is and the reality is that it's not um but in the moment when you're making study decisions that's what you're aiming towards so you are fighting really really hard to get back to that and every time you don't reach that you're like oh i'm screwed oh, i'm screwed oh, i'm screwed oh, i'm screwed yeah um in reality um you're aiming for the wrong goal <laughs> mm. You move That's a very interesting point. Like, uh...